Man has a mystery on his hands, a mystery that almost hit him on the head. He almost got taken out by a flying street sign. News 13's Ryan Martin has that story. It began as just a typical day at the range for Mark Booth. I do some shooting, and uh, it's just west of the airport out here. Uh, there's an area there where people go and shoot. Mr. Booth was adjusting his tailgate when he heard a sound fly by, which he thought was a bird. When he turned, he saw this 25 mile an hour roadside just laying right in the ground. And it had, uh, <laughs> it had gone through the air uh, right into the ground uh, beside the pickup truck. I'd say maybe six inches to a foot behind my head. Booth then sat down by his truck for about 20 minutes, thinking about the close call before calling his wife, Linda. He called me and he said, um, you just almost lost your husband. And I said, what? And he told me what happened. I was just thanking God that he was okay. Booth and I traveled to the location where it all went down. We stumbled upon the bottom of a road sign with one. missing bolts and tire tracks nearby indicating how the sign may have came loose. But that was hundreds of feet away from where he was almost impaled leaving the retired Marine very confused as to how it traveled that far. When you're up to the range, you, you can see most of Santa Fe, and you, you do see dust devils, and I've seen some big ones, but whatever picked this up and threw it, um, it was gone. This an experience Mark and Linda won't forget. This guy has gone through war, he's been shot at, he's had lots of things happen to him. Not very many things make him shake like that. In Santa Fe, Ryan Martin, KRQE News 13. The boosts are trying to, side, trying to decide now what to do with that sign. Mark wants to give it back to the county, while Linda thinks he should keep it as a memento. New Mexicans without.